Last week, we were here and we talked about a few things. First, I talked about that the seasonality versus the end of the quarter effect. This is the end of the quarter effect, a significant swing high. From the past, it means a significant swing high. And also, for the first two weeks in July, based on a seasonality study by the Goldman Sachs analysts, the first two weeks is the most bullish in the whole year. And we got up 1.5%, slightly below average, because on average, it's up about 2%. As of the close of Friday, 14th of July, that is again from this bar until here, up about 1.5%. According to the seasonality, yesterday should be the start of the uh, fading of the movement in the S&P 500, but that's only based on the stats. But the most important thing is that we need to look at the price action and also the supply. Last week, we also talked about there is a test in this level, 44.20. This is the minor level. And I mentioned that if we could bounce up from here, that's great. And the most important thing is that supply is low. So I do see spike of the supply. The supply right here is very different from the supply we have seen here, 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 or even here. This is a reaction, reaction, and these are the reaction, reaction, reaction. This is relatively uh, high supply level. But if we compare it to the past, the current supply looks like on the low side. That is the great thing. We don't see a spy of the supply yet. That's very important. And from 4420, we see that there's a bounce up from here. After that, on Tuesday, we got a bullish bar. And I also talk about that there is increasing of the supply and I hope to see a test. It means that a test with a lower supply level, but we didn't get that. The market is too bullish. We got a straight breakout of this pivot point, 4480, 4500, and then rally up. And on Friday, this is where the bear can actually attack or at least take a, a winning hand because we already see that there is a rejection tail with slight increase of the supply. This is the insufficient part. If the bear really want to attack, they could have a lot of sell off with increasing of the supply. But this is a slight increase of the supply. If we look at this bar, this is not a reversal bar, not qualified as a reversal bar. Or we can say is there's profit taking, there's a rejection tail, there's slight increase of the supply, and we need to see whether they will have a follow through to the downside. And indeed, uh, yesterday we got a reversal of this bar straight. Instead of going down, going back to test this exercise line, which is perfectly normal. And I won't be surprised at all if we have a reaction come back to here to have a test of this breakout bar. It's perfectly normal and it's indeed a lot more healthy because now that a lot of the stocks has been rallying up in an extended mode, overbought, not a good choice to jump in and chase those type of the stocks. That's why I put in the list that's weight and hold. These are the stocks that has been going up, rallying up in the last week. Not recommended to go in and chase. The stocks, if you did not have any position, any entry. Yesterday, there's another bullish bar. And in terms of the volume, again, is on a low side. So not only is normal, but it's on a low side. Suggesting two things. We got a lack of the supply. And also for the demand, we also do not see very aggressive demand like this. It means that we could see exhaustion of the demand as well before the supplier came out to attack. Something need to uh, be aware. Anyway, now the short term swing is still up. This is the immediate resistance level 4600. It's very obvious if we look at the past, this is the access level previously as the resistance. We got rejection here, another up trust here, and we got some support got tested here. That's the access level 4600. It's likely that's the market, the S&P 500 will go there uh, to have a test and we need to see whether they will have a reaction or with an increasing of supply, things like that in order to anticipate the next move 
or whether it's to the to upside or to the downside, or whether we'll have a deeper reaction, or it's a normal pullback, things like that. So far, right now, it is very healthy. Shallow pullback is to create a higher low throughout, breaking out, going up, and don't see a ton of the supply yet. So all good. And in terms of the rest of the index, Nasdaq is coming back as well. I thought that there will be a pause at least for Nasdaq because of the excess level, 15200 to about 15600, but it did not react that much from that level. We definitely see reaction. There's a reaction when we touch uh, the excess zone. The first reaction followed by a second reaction. Low, a higher low. And in fact, this reaction is very shallow and has been tested with relatively lower supply and then followed by a breakout. Very healthy structure. And now that is heading to the next level, uh, which is the previous uh, supply zone here. There's a, a supply or the resistance swing high. It's about 16,000. Nikki say it will be interesting to see the first attempt at 4,600. Yeah, absolutely. So I would love to see uh, what sort of the reaction we will get when S&P 500 touch the 4,600, whether we'll have a, a significant uh, profit taking or we'll have a shadow type of the pullback or deeper type of the pullback or increasing of the volatility, uh, things like that. It will be very interesting to see that. And in terms of NASDAQ, the next level is close to 16,000. And so far, again, the volume is very normal. There's nothing much to, to comment about. This is a healthy type of a volume, shallow type of reaction, being tested with a higher low going up. And in fact, we got support from the semicon. The semiconductor stocks are rallying up again. So we need to take a look back for a few of the setup. Those are great setup. That's Nasdaq. And if we look at Dow Jones, Dow Jones is not too bad. We got a proper structure here. That is the backing up or the last point of the support. Supply has been decreasing throughout. Again, healthy sign is likely to go up to test the next level, which is 35,200 uh, to about 35,700. That's the next zone that we will see Dow Jones to get to. And the last one is my major focus, Russell. My focus right now is on the small cap and also the mid cap as well, and especially the growth stocks. If we look at the past growth stocks like Upstart, Confluence, U, Roblox, those kind of the ARKK stocks also coming back as well. So even the ARKK ETF is breaking out as well. I mentioned ARKK as outperforming sector to watch out for last week. There's something to look forward in Russell 2000 and also a lot of the small to mid cap stocks, which are already outperforming for quite some time. And in terms of this index, I mentioned that first level we need to see to break out is the very obvious level here. This is the first level 1920 or 1925. That's Wednesday. Wednesday, we see a breakout. That's on Tuesday, attempt to break out. Wednesday is a follow through to the upside and then followed by holding up again above the resistance or the access level. This is a very good sign suggesting that is likely to test 2020. But that is the next level that you need to get tested. That's Russell 2000. Supply wise is normal as per the the other trade index. So all good for now. If you want to catch my latest videos, click on the subscribe button and the bell right now so that you get instant notification once I upload my latest video. If you want to check out my online courses, go to tradeprecise.com to find out how to profit consistently from any market without using complex indicator or understanding any financial statement no matter you are trading or investing.